In this video I will show you Windows Classic theme on Windows 11 and today we will be installing OpenShell which will replace our Windows 11 start menu to the Windows Classic one. Then we will also install Simple Classic theme which will replace our Windows 11 GUI to Classic theme and then also I will be installing Retrobar which will be replacing our Windows 11 taskbar to the Classic one or also Windows XP one. So if we continue with installing OpenShell, go to here to the releases, I will just download this latest release which is periodic update, go here to the assets and click exe file right here and click save. Open the file, click next, I accept the agreements, click next, I will also click next right here and also install, click yes and click finish. Right now I will go to the taskbar settings scroll down, open taskbar behaviors and I will put taskbar alignment to the left. Close the window settings, open up start menu, go to the all apps, search for the open shell and right here open shell menu settings. Right here I will select classic style but you can also if you want to classic with two columns or also windows 7 style. I will just pick classic style right here and I will also click right here to replace start button. For example, I will select classic one. Go to the skin settings. I will select uh, from the Metro skin, which is currently right now to the classic skin of our start menu style. So if I click OK right now and I click start menu, it should look like that. Now, if we continue with installing simple classic theme, Go to the releases as before on OpenShell, GitHub repository, click simple classic theme.exe. Right here I will select three dots, click here to keep files. I will also click uh, right here and keep anyway. I will select open the file, click yes. And right now simple classic theme exe file should start. I will also install Tclock from the right options right here. I will also install Explorer Context Menu Tweaker, click OK. I will also click right here Ribbon Disabler 4.0 and this option will make our Explorer similar to Windows 7 Explorer. So I will click right here and click Yes. Computer will now sing out and I will click Sign In back to Windows. Go back to your Dolans folder and open up Simple Classic theme again and right now it says here first run so it seems to be the first time you are running STT or simple classic theme would you like to run the automatic setup tool so I will click right here yes and we have the setup wizard right here I will click next accept the, accept the agreements click next I will check this one STT or simple classic theme will start with uh, our windows and I will also do not in click here do not install any classic type or button because I already installed open shell so click here to install click finish and right now our simple classic theme is ready to go um, right now I'll also click make borders 3d I will click yes and this one should put some uh, registry keys in our registry click ok right here and we can also configure some settings. For example, let me go to the scheme and I will also go back to the, you can uh, select also from Windows Aero to Windows Classic, Windows Modern, or even Windows Standard. For this tutorial, I will select Windows Classic, click apply, click okay. And right now I will also click enable right here. When that is done, close this. And at this time of the video, I think it's ready to say if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button, make sure it turns gray and also I think we can easily reach 200 likes on this video. So if you haven't already, click that like button. Right now if we continue with the, our Windows Classic theme, right now I will open up our, my web browser once again and I will go to the Retrobar uh, website on the GitHub. And this is our, as I said before, our uh, taskbar replacement. So I will go back to the releases and I will enter this one version 1.3. Go to the retro bar zip and I will open the file. Um, extract all on the top right. Click extract. And our retro bar is 
uh, extracted. I will cut this uh, retro bar to this computer, local disk C, I will also create right here um, a, a tweaks folder. For example, new folder, I will call it tweaks. Go to the folder and paste our retro bar in here, into, uh, into C drive. I will run our retro bar and right now uh, I will also need to install Netcore so to run a uh, retro bar. So I will click yes right here and uh, this should open a new uh, web browser tab and I will go to the run desktop apps version of this program. So I will click download uh, x64. Run this program to install Windows Runtime 3.1.18. So I will click yes right here. And I, we can also close the browser. Go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to the tweaks and open up retro bar. So retro bar should be active right now. And as you can see, we have the our classic uh, start menu from the open shell. Right click on the uh, uh, retro bar click properties and here we have some properties to change. I will select this one to automatically start at our with uh, our start with Windows. Uh, I will also click right here to allow font smoothing so this will make our corners on font uh, not so jagged anymore. And also I will click here to collapse our notification area icons. So here we have these notification area uh, icons on the bottom right. And also we have here uh, the team. So, for example, we can select System 1, uh, we can select water, Watercolor 1, Windows 2001, Windows 95 to 98, Windows ME or me, and then we also have Windows XP Blue and also Windows XP Classic. For this uh, video, I will just use Windows 95 to 98. If you haven't already, guys, uh, I already posted another video covering Retro Bar uh, specifically. And I'll also put a link in the video description down below and also on the top right. Right now it should pop up uh, on, on your uh, YouTube player. So I will click OK right here. If I open up right now, let, for example, Notepad. Let's say open up Notepad and right now it uh, these uh, buttons look like that from Windows Classic style. And also let me show you that Win version actually that we are running Windows 11. So go to this one, go to WinVer run it and as you can see we have here Windows 11 with classic theme. So I think this has been all for this video and as I said earlier if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure it turns grey. And also I think we can easily reach 200 likes on this video so if you haven't already hit that like button and with that being said guys I see you all in the next one. Peace.